When one thinks of champagne, a few big names spring to mind. Dom Perignon, Moe Chandon, Charles Heidseck, and Krug, to name a few. These labels collectively are known as Grand Marc, literally meaning the great brands. This exclusive club of champagne houses was originally founded in 1882 and was created to protect the heritage and prestige of the champagne industry. This group currently consists of almost 100 houses, however the original 24 are still recognised as the face of champagne. Today there are only a few hundred champagne houses which together represent the vast majority of champagne's exports. But these houses are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to champagne production. Across Champagne's 35,000 hectares of vineyards, there are actually 15,000 individual growers. This symbiotic relationship between the major houses and growers is essential to the infrastructure of Champagne's industry. So what's the difference between a growers and the Champagne house? Champagne effectively is divided into two main categories, the growers and the Champagne houses. We have 15,000 growers in Champagne, who own, on average, about two hectares. And these 15,000 growers, altogether, you're talking about 30% of the whole production. 70% of the total champagne production is produced by only 150 champagne houses. And the houses own only 10% of the total surface of champagne. For example, Charles Heidseek, we own about 65 hectares, but that's not enough to produce our champagne. That is enough to produce about 15%, but the rest we still have to buy from growers and we buy from 300 growers on average. For the houses, consistency is key, and winemakers will often blend grapes sourced from dozens or even hundreds of different growers. These grapes may come from many different areas of Champagne and are essential to ensure consistency and quality year after year. We are in Champagne here. Uh, we have a lot of control, uh, but after it depends on the grower you buy. It's like a restaurant. The restaurant, the chef will prefer to have his vegetable from this supplier, from this butcher. You have to choose them. You don't buy all the one passing through. You, you just select one. It's uh, like any other industry. And you select your supplier. Although the 24 Grand Marc may be the most recognisable names, there are actually over 2,000 different producers in Champagne. Many growers will not only sell their grapes, but will also make their own wines, known as Grower Champagnes. Although not as celebrated as the big brands, these Grower Champagnes represent an emergent group of producers that are making incredible Champagne at exceptionally reasonable prices. These champagnes are always full of character and often represent the best expression of their unique terroir as well as their winemaker. It can be a security for my blend, but the fact of doing the wine with my, only my grapes is more emotional. So I will take the best, the best slopes, on my opinion, well situated, so those vineyards cost a fortune. So when you make grapes only from those kind of vineyards, you know the raw material is nice but you have your passion. I'm a small grower, I don't sell only a beverage. I'm selling a part of myself, a part of my soul. Why not try a bottle of Grand Marc next to a grower champagne to see if you can spot these subtle stylistic differences? <laughs>